Okay, so offline what I've been doing is trying to figure out the next uh, large bottleneck in the application. And I believe I found it. I've been uh, trying to add uh, little clocks and trying to like time how long each uh, system processing is taken in release mode. And I found it to be the armature animation system. Well, would just call the armature system, but what's happening in the armature system is that it's animating stuff. And it's specifically this section. So... To do this, to, to test this out, what I have created is a script that creates 4,000 entities. And I just, so that, that I can scale it up and I just run it. So let's do that right now. In a 18, 19, 20 millisecond, 19 millisecond frame, for each 19 millisecond frame, it's spending 13, 15, 14 milliseconds. So like basically three quarters of each frame in here. In this, anim in this animation system. And then you can also see that the render system takes no time at all in comparison. Um, or at least the uh, processing and the preparation of the rendering system, not the actual render call itself. Just the stuff that's th that I've been working on the past couple episodes or sessions. And I also managed to figure out that it is specifically this section because if I was to set it to this simpler way, so I just always skip this part, just this specific part, compile that, and run it, it's down to zero. So, let's bring that back and move into debug mode. Also, as a, uh, yeah, let's change this back to debug mode. So let's uh, shrink this down to 512, it looks like. 512 items. Let's go to build. Be back to debug mode. And get to work on what I want to do next. Which is not going to have an immediate impact, but it will over the longer term. So, create those uh, 512 new items, let this run, and once it's done, I'll hit a 5, and we'll debug, and we'll see what the timing is now on 512 items. Hopefully it's enough, it's not too much to overwhelm the uh, debug mode version of things. 27 to 6. Okay, that's still a bit much. Let's uh, shrink it down to... ...256. And 13 and 3. That looks pretty good. That's a, that's a range that I can work with. So, with that in mind, what am I going to do about the armatures? I'm not going to really do much about the arm armature animation system quite yet. Now, there is a way I can really, I can reduce the user, like the actual time, by like changing this to a multi-threaded animation, uh, the system to use multiple threads. You know, that'll be an almost linear cutdown based on the number of threads you use. But I don't really feel like that's really a great optimization strategy right now. I really want to do is reduce the overall work first before I go into like trying to optimize by like just splitting things up into threads. And to do that, what I feel like is the first thing, well, like I said, I'm going, what I need to do is reduce the actual total amount of work to be done before I start uh, really optimizing that work that is to be done. And to do that, is what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start splitting off. I'm going to split off, split this up, the armature state. Right now, the, the, the data that's imported or exported to other systems is intermingled with the runtime only information. So what's happening is, of course, like you have the armature ID. This is the stuff that you would export to a file or export the across the network, the animation and the time in that animation that I do. And then this is the runtime information. This information is derived from this. This is like this anim armature plus this animation equals these are the bones current state of on this frame of this tick, whatever. Um, and that's not really great. 
Like it's a bit, uh, the data is a bit too intermingled, intermixed. It's too close. That It's closer than it should be. This really should be a separate uh, component or data set which is derived. Much like what I've uh, done with the render system and the position data where like the, uh, you take uh, data from the render state, the position and the armature state, and then you create like an internal runtime only set of data. Like, um, Oh yeah, the render data set, like this. This is the actual runtime amount of data. This doesn't need to be exported. This is derived exclusively from the other components. Uh, and what I want to do is to do something similar with the armature state. You have this animation, which is the actual interesting information that you would use to create a derived set of data, which is the, you know, the actual skeletal positions each frame. And then that is used by, let's say, the render system, by the physics system by uh, other systems that would actually require like specific bone rotation matrix position uh, that require bone positional information. And that, so what I'm thinking of is, yeah, like I said, I'm going to split this off into another system. And what it, what's going to happen is the armature system is going to be taking in the current armature state pool and be basically converting all that into an output, uh, which will be like the armature animation state, which is what I'm probably going to call the new thing. And then that armature animation state is the thing that's actually then going to be used by the render system, by the physics system to position stuff appropriately. This means that I do two things. The render system physics system doesn't need to pay attention to like minute changes of like you know possible future animations to be updated it just needs to know like what it has the state of the bones changed which means it only needs to pay attention to the armature animation state pool and it means i can i will have to iterate through a lot less items if i'm going through an armature animation state component pool because i that what i can do what i think I can do, not quite yet, but soon, is I will have some kind of flagging system, some kind of maybe set like a bit flag, like an entity bit flag system that like the rent that certain systems can like flag certain things. So what I want, so the, the eventual idea is that you'll have the armature states as they are, which is just input information. And like, you don't obviously, and in it, and in order to reduce the total amount of work, you don't want to animate entities that are like outside of eyesight and outside of that and aren't being dealt with. Like with uh, like physics processing isn't happening on them. Like they're just nowhere near anything that's actually moving. So there's no actual point to like position bone information and stuff. So I want to reduce. It that way. So what's going to happen is like you're going to have systems are going to be able to flag, set up some kind of flag that says, hey, I'm interested in the derived animated bone positions of this entity. And then the animation, this armature system or the animation system will take that flag. Well, we'll see that flag has been well marked and then say, OK, now I will now start producing animation data, which will then be used by those other downstream systems. And they don't necessarily. And the interesting thing about this is that like no, none of these systems actually need to, to talk directly with each other. They just they're going to just talk through indirectly through like, does this does this uh, component exist? Right. I mean, it could be, for example, like there while like you know you may be interested in, in the animated position or something it may just be that like there's no animations happening whatsoever so like there's no point to like iterate through those things so the armature staple will be the, the the larger set the big set and then the thing that the render system and physics and whatever will actually pay attention to is a subset of this which is just the animated state oh animated state armature state armature animation state something like that Okay, so with all that word salad out of the way, let me begin uh, on that idea. So first, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not going to do flags now. I'm just going to work on splitting this out and getting the new animation system to 
populate that as I would expect. This also means now I'll be able to actually like add um, much like with the render system, I can actually say, hey, I, I, I'll actually get a full resource handle and I'll be able to increment its use to say, hey, I'm using this. Don't lose it. Don't, don't whatever, right? So struct, full, armature, I'm going to animation state, armature animated state, animated state. Here's what I'm going to say, armature bone state. Yeah, armature bone state uh, is what I'm going to play, put it as for now. So pro resource armature, and we're going to basically copy and paste these two over. I'm going to require resource and resource.h. To begin with, okay. Uh, I need a pool to go with it, which is just going to be type def CS component pool. O armature and bone state. No, I, I bone state just doesn't seem great. Animated bone state. That sounds a bit more interesting. That sounds a bit better. So we got that. Um, I'm going to have GLM mat for. Well, okay, I don't actually need this. I just need like the bone count and P bones. So I'll, I'll cut that uh, down a little bit. What is the purpose of this? This frees the bones. Why is this freeing the bones? I don't save the. Hold on. I don't actually save the bones and I don't load the bones, right? I'm just doing like what? Just the armature ID, the animation ID, and the time. Why do I have this separate thing? This is only derived information. This shouldn't exist because what uh, the armature system is the thing that's responsible for creating it in the first place. It should be responsible for freeing it as well, right? Load state, P armature. Am I wrong? Here we go. Yeah, if null pointer, then it allocates. Why? Okay, then, no, no. I mean, I understand this. I just don't... What was I thinking? I don't need this. This should not have ever existed. It should be that when something has been removed, when you deinitialize, if you have a modified entity list, okay, uh, clear... Component bone data. You go through all the entities, much like this. Uh, I don't need the IDs. I just need to reach the end. So that. And I say. Oh, armature. Which will be basically immediately changed over to the animated state. But I want to I want to get this done first. Const star const. The end state. The armature state. Plus. ECS component pool size of M armature state pool. That's great. Then for basically this, this, that, close that, that, I want to go through if well P armature state. Uh, PR armature bones. If not equal no pointer, then I need to free P armature state, P armature bones, and P armature state T bones equals no pointer. That should have been how it worked in the first place. On both the reg oh, I also need the process the removed. States.
Uh, this should be, let's do remove first. Remove. Remove components. Let's do that. that right? And we basically do the same thing, except, oh, it's not like that. Okay. Kind of do the same thing, but we're going to do it that way. So regular component. So this will be that. Okay, this is already the regular. So removed. Removed. Okay. And then I basically need to do this here. I don't care about the IDs. I just care about the data. That's all. And uh, in registration, I need to clear out uh, where I use the destructor or the cleanup, this thing. No pointer. And I presume... And I made a bone state. Okay. Yeah. Type redefinition with different... Am I, do I have this the wrong way around? No. It's just a type that redefinition with different types. Okay, I don't. To my, to my name, it's just like a like a symbolic link, basically. Oh yeah, and I need to uh, actually. If oh, import armature state. There's nothing to actually clean up in this. And I'm not returning false if it fails. Okay. Don't know why that was there. Because, like again, like none of the data... At this point, it should have no actual data. Um, and there should just basically be nothing in here. This file sh just shouldn't exist. And I don't need it for the animated one either. So... Armature state. Goodbye. Use uh, modified something or other. Again, like same thing here, right? Okay, great. Uh, back up. Go to build. Build. Bow. Bring up. Make sure like I'm not completely no extra leaks. Great. And yeah, so no extra leaks. If I was to close others. Okay, we go. Okay, close those. Go into here and I make sure, hey, you know, am I actually doing stuff here? Like I am expecting this will actually have problems. I would expect. I do that. And then, yeah, I have extra memory leaks. Fantastic. Great, 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 great. Do that. And it's only the one leak. Fantastic. So I'll, I'm actually going to put that in as it is right now, because that's a great thing to have. Let's get rid of armature state. And get rid of this. Change that. Do that stage that great armature system just removed regular re removed fantastic uh that's been removed great anything to do in here yes just this armature state yes import registration yes this will be 
commit. Um, date. Open. The armature state structure. No, uh, while the wrong line have some time pointer that cleaned up is this of the system. Dynamic data is not data imported or imported, exported externally. It's not data used externally. Was created. Set of runtime data that was being created by the armature system, and as such, it was the armature systems respond respond responsibility. Responsibility. Yes, I can type. Yes. Um, up, not, yeah. not responsibility, the associated control. Okay, great. That's in. Back to what I was doing, uh, which is the animated bone state. Great. So we're going to have that. We, we need a new system, which is going to be hiding here. Okay, why is this? I don't understand this one. This... Oh, pool. There we go. Because uh, armature bone, animated bone state does still already exist. It's the original type that down here. Um, right, great, great, great. So now I need to actually put in the registration. So let's we got armature. We got pool. Bit, bone, component state component. Got that. Okay, let's see. System, system, component, render state, armature component. Okay. We need to... Oh, I need to type that for this. Uh, animated a bone state tool. How about that? Animate a bone state. Oh, I'm sure to put this off to the side and also put this to the side so I can very easily do this. That. This, this one. Yep. Yep. Copy paste. Great. Kind of resize this a little bit. Okay, that was the destroy. Let's do the create. So components, I'm sure state pool. Mm -hmm. Delete that.
maintenance. That's that's that. This is this. Wait, no, that's yeah, that's just the actual pipe itself. Animated bone state pool. And then finally we have animated bone state components. Great. Next, uh, initialization and deinitialization. To deinitialize. Uh, no, there's nothing to do here. This would deinitialize the system, which would then clear out the system. So uh, the, the pool. So that's fine. Initialize, no. And the same thing for graphics. Okay. Which we're good at at this point. Okay, no problems. It runs without error, I hope. Great. Make sure there's no new memory leaks. Great. So that's in place. Now I need to, with the animation system, when I initialize this, I need to pass in po animated bone state pool. That's the derived component. That's the component that this thing outputs into. So, this, no, M animated. This, go to the header side, we'll add that. There, M animated state pool, so null handle. So that's the new thing. We're passing it in through there. We're going to be setting that up. Do I have to do anything else with this? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is... So we're, this is no longer going to be attached with the armature state pool. Because that's not the thing I'm modifying. I'm going to be modifying this, but I'm not doing it quite yet. I'll reattach it to the other th thing later, so I need to add a to-do for this. To animated element state pool. Not quite yet, but soon. Initialize, deinitialize, component system, stuff, stuff, blah, 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 blah. Removed components, we're not quite there yet. So, oh, M automated bone state pool, info, all handle. Here, components. To do that. Um, these will be swapped directly into the other, the other, other type as well. Okay. Uh, so big thing, processing. Uh, on a per animation. So right now I'm still going to process all animation states because our armature states, because I don't have that flag thing from that I was talking about earlier. I don't have some way to determine what I need to actually animate and what I don't. But for the time being, what's going to happen is processing the maintenance of this hmm, system will be slightly in a different place, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Okay. Armature state. Okay, I need a new thing, which is going to be. So that's the armature state po ID star P animated state ID. Mm. 
So that will also mean that this is going to turn into const suit as well. E n on state id e animated plus yes size of animated on state. That's great. And then we have the uh, type that. Star data pointer m animated bone state pool okay we're still going to iterate through this Not going to do anything about this. Not going to do anything about this here. So I need to get down to the point where I would actually start doing this. Okay. Modified, inserted. Hmm. So since this is the system that's going to be spawning that derivative animated type, I need to check if no while p animated so star p animated bone state is not equal to hmm. less than or equal to the star p armature state id I need to add like data to this, don't I? State data. Well, that. I'm just trying to think like how. If it's less than. No, hold on. Okay, I need to do something where I need to check if, ah, oh, man, this is, okay, if I've reached the end, p animated bones state id equals p animated bones end, that means, hey, we reached the end. We need to create, add a new component. Okay. Because we reached the end. So let's just, let's go through the process of that. So I create a new one. New data equals dot armature equals armature whatever and I'm going to say hmm no this would have to happen before I actually get the armature resource this would have to happen like here Hmm. 
Okay, no, you know what? This is just going to be an entirely new uh, system. Set of systems. Period. I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to keep this as it is because this is the old. So... I can't do this. Just... I'll just kind of sub-call into that. Okay, and then we're going to have a new one, which is going to be the actual new one. If, okay, so result set, result equals. If result dot value not equal so success. I need a clean slate for this. So return result. Otherwise, we're just going to go into the new stuff. Process. Okay. Move armature states. Let me go through, find this. Okay, great. So I have that. I'm not state ID. I'm going with ID today. State ID. ID. Got that. Got that. On star. How much is state ID? Strong type. Got that. Okay. Do I need anything? No, because this is being removed. So all I need to know is that, hey, in the news, I need to go through my other one and just, I don't actually have to do anything fancy. All I have to do is pro ECS component pool data pointer or pool remove this. And I just go through each entity, I guess. Or... I could also just add like a one that just kind of I could just copy I could just pass this through almost almost while p armature state id not equals p and armature state id I'll do that later we'll just say hey you know star p armature state id and this is going to be an animated bone state pool whatever and when it comes through again I'll deal with removed. So that's the removed armature state. Now I want to do removed animated bone state. This is the one where it just kind of like, which uh, is just like this. This an animated bone state pool. So just replace that here, 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 here. Not quite there actually. E bones. That, that, and that. Cleared. Roof. Animated bone state, removed those. These can be very easily split off into other threads to be done. If there's data, like it, what I need to do is I need to do this. And I need to say, if they're not the same, then throw, and if there's actually more, because also running other threads is expensive. It's greater than like a certain threshold, then put it into another thread. Uh, if it's like only like a dozen, quickly run through it here. It's going to be cheaper. You don't have to go through the rigmarole of, putting of creating a something on the heap and throwing it out to somewhere else same thing with this very easily parallelizable these little jobs um okay next is the modified armature state or yeah um, 
different state. I'm not quite going to do anything yet, so I need to to do this. But that's not the one I'm thinking of right now. What I re what I'm really interested in is inserted armature state. I don't have to do inserted animation bone state because I'm the one also creating that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and the I. Oh no. Um, it's offset based. Uh, let me check render state. This will have a good render system. This will already have a pretty good implementation of this back here. Render state insertions, armature state insertions, which is this. We have these at the beginning. And our mature. And our mature. It's kind of give it get a bit more space to work here. Uh, I also need the offset. This is what I'm going through. Whatever. And then I need. So the animated bone state is going to match whatever is going on with armature state if it's good. So I don't have to worry about checking for it to already exist because if it was also removed in the same uh, animation uh, um, pass, maintenance pass as this, then it'll also be removed in a second then I'll reinsert it with the new data. So I don't need to worry about that. I just need to do this. Effectively, what I'm thinking of. So we'll get the entity and whatever data. So P armature state data, pointers data. Then what I want to do is I want to check if it's usable, but right now, of course, it's usable. Yes, of course, it's usable. Hmm. So for now, I, I'm, no, 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 just, just don't. Okay, I'm also going to want a, an awaiting list, because if I'm implementing something, I'm saying, hey, I'm awaiting for this to finish loading for whatever reason. So I do need a, some kind of awaiting list. So we've got the antifa uh, that standard x4 um the id so i almost like my reference and use list is almost always the same Hmm. Awaiting loading. I'm not sure if it's that. I don't need all the data. I just need this. Okay, struct. Which is just a faux empty ID. The T, I'm waiting that, and I'm awaiting low resource armature. I'm waiting for this thing to load. I have a reference to it, and I have a use 
to it that it's not lost in the meantime. Okay. So that's going to be valuable. Um, I'm going to need to make sure that on the initialize. Um, the reference any resources being weighted on. So for auto const and m awaiting, sorry. Waiting loading. So resource. Decrement use count of awaited. Dot parameter. There we go. Decrement the use, decrement the reference. Rep count. Okay, and then at the end, I'm awaiting loading dot clear. Okay. So back down to here, I'm on the inserted, inserting side. Great. So I have this. I'm set, so now I need to do the, hey, I'm looking for the armature data, which is here. Okay. Bring that down here. Fantastic. The armature state, armature ID, armature state data. Let me just make sure what I'm doing here. Armature state insertions, no resource state insertions. Under state, blah, 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 blah. I get it. I increment. So this is basically the same thing. I increment it. So I get it while this, then I just increment both. Resource increment the reference count of the armature. So resource increment use count armature. Hmm. I need to tighten up how references and uses work on resources. I really do. So I do that anyways. I got I, so I got that, and then I'm saying, hey. At this point, I would do. I I need to check if it's loaded, and then I need to check. So, for resource load state equals resource get state of the armature, and then I do need to do the switch case. The reason I'm doing switch case is is if I add or remove a different resource, well, no, removing, it becomes obvious it won't compile. If I add a new load state, I want like these switch cases. If I do an if, if else, then I run into the issue where like, I don't get warnings about it. But if I have a switch case of a load state and says, hey, and I add something, it will, the compiler will go, hey, you've got an, um, used unchecked unprocessed use uh values of this type so that's why i'm that's why you uh, switch cases for these things where i have to go through and i need to have i need to process any type of load load state that it could be so that's down here somewhere 
Except here, apparently, where I, where I screw that up. I swear I had... What? I swear I had... I switched over to switch cases at some point. Did I just imagine the whole thing? I must have. Wow, that's terrible. Okay, I need to make a note of that because that's that's awful. Uh, okay, uh, that that. Uh, load state to switches. Well, good thing I haven't uh, merged this uh, branch in yet. That's a big oversight on my part. Okay, switch load uh, case. The first case is bow load state loaded. That's a big one. Case bow resource load state failed. Okay, if it fails to load, if the resource doesn't exist, then I don't want to add it to the, to the waiting list. I don't want to add it. So I just say, hey, just don't just don't do anything. Continue basically. Break out of this. Don't do anything. It failed to load. Either the derived component pool or adding to the waiting list. Case pro resource load unloaded, which means it's either unloaded or it's about to load. So in that case, I need to say, hey, if it's load, I need to say, hey, if it's also not pro resource, get it's loading of the armature. Then I need to say, hey, I need to I need a request to be loaded. Oh, resource. Load data of armature. Eventually it'll either come back with a failure or success. Then I need to add um, awaiting loading dot in place back. I need to add this to the waiting list, which is going to say, hey. The waiting list is not in order. Well, it's in order now because I'm processing things in order. But if I split this fun if I split this into multiple threads, because there's a lot of work to be done, it may be going. It may go out of order. It might. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, anyways, waiting data. Dot entity. Whoop. Equals entity. Dot armature equals armature. We're done. We break out. Carry on to the next one. Then we get the loading, the, the, the state where it's loaded. This is the interesting one. So I need to create uh, oh, animated bone state, new data, where dot bone count equals something dot bones equals some um, a malloc something and then dot armature which would have been first equals armature Okay, bone count and stuff is going to be up here. Armature bones. What the hell am I doing here? If armature state 
not equal null, then I free it. Then I remalloc it every single time. Whoa! What was I what was I on when I did this? I always free it, I always remalloc it. Every time. Every time. Wow, and wow. Okay, well I'm glad I'm glad this is over. This is a bad this is bad. Um Armature size. P arm. Okay, I need to grab the armature data uh, at this point. So I need to do. And I say, hey, that equals P armature. Armature dot size. That many bones. Comes this. Number of bones equals uh, GLM map four star malloc of this time size of GLM map four. That's going to be shrunk down from that to this. And then I insert it. Bo ECS, or I hope I insert the result equals both ECS component pool insert M animated bone state pool of this entity with this data, which is end new data. Oh, and if new data dot e bones equals null pointer, that means we have a failure here. Result equals two for result of um, error, error out of memory. And then I need to go to, I need to basically return, I guess, at this point. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, but that's how I'm going to do it right now. If result, success. Return result. Okay, I need to do two things. First off, I need to free new data dot p bones, and then I need to return because I did create it successfully here. I just failed to insert it here. Since I failed to insert it here, this day this this um, is still floating around somewhere. Great, failed unloaded. Possibly being loaded. <sighs> I don't know if I could actually just check this and go like just try to do it. It may just be cheaper just to do that. Or because it's already going to be doing this is still an atomic. So I'm already doing that. This is a much smaller atomic thing than the other thing. Or wait, no, because I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just checking like is it being loaded in parallel. I'll keep it as it is now. That is going to be something I need to look into. There's always so many things. Okay. Otherwise, loaded. New data. Bad case. Bad case. Otherwise, it's inserted. And it'll be done in the maintenance next. Hmm. I 
I may want to take direct, assume direct control over saying, hey, you know, the opponent pool maintenance of the M animated bone state pool. Because the date component directly this system. Could be performed just after the is processed. Rather than having its own separate processing thing. Otherwise, animation data, our animated bone data is going to only apply on the next tick as opposed to this tick. And I may as well just do it on this tick. So let's find up here, maintenance. So that's just that. No maintenance. This thing doesn't do maintenance uh, in the regular cycle with like everyone else. So yeah, it's a bit iffy. You know what? I'm just gonna keep things simpler for now. No. No, I'll no, I'll do the right thing. And by doing the harder thing. Okay. Um. So that's insertions. Now I need to do modifies because i already got the removes both ways i got the insertion for that now i need to deal with the armature state if it has modified so i uh, can shortcut by using do 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 insertions position here we go Okay, we got that. That's great. Wow, that's bad. Armature state pool. Wow, yeah, that was super, that's super bad. Okay, let me just kind of this. Let me make sure nothing is about to break just from uh, fixing that up. Double check up here. Modified render state. Render state, render state. Render state, render state, render state. Okay. Modified armature state. Armature state, armature state. Armature, armature. Is I most likely just got lucky because everything is basically being modified on the same items. That was that probably would have thrown me for quite a bit of a loop. Ah, uh, what we got going on here? This recall. Oh, right. It's going to require that. Animated bone state pool. Comma animated bone state pool. Great. And if I had a proper like a uh, test um, harness for this, it probably would have come up immediately as well. Unfortunate. 
Uh, something bad happened immediately. Oh, I just had some stuff in here. Oh, great. And it broke. Okay, just a second. Let me restart uh, code. Okay. So, that's... I'm not going to do anything about that. CD... Oh, it swapped around. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Can I... Oh, wait. Maybe I can move them. Okay, no, no big issues. Terminal. Strange bugs? No. And, okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sweet. Great. So, I'm interested in... Okay, does anything here break? Catastrophically yet. Uh, yes, of course, because I have not changed these up. That and that and that and that. Okay. Any catastrophic failures? Yes. Big ones, in fact. Hmm, something somewhere got stuck real quick. Oh, I didn't actually uh, move that up, did I? That's why. Okay, while offset. Yeah, I'll just change this to a four. Oh, it's going to get stuck in here as well. Okay. I presume it's getting stuck in there. To remove IDs. Okay. Okay, no, it's getting stuck in here. For that. The armature state ID. Okay, do I have the same thing up here? No, that's a for loop as it should be. Elementary issues. Okay. Build for okay. There's at least the insert remove thing that I have going on. Not produce. It does produce leaks. Okay. Why? Oh, I'm probably not dealing with this here. All right. Removed, animated bone state. And then regular animated bone state. Data pointer, size. I mean, while ECS component pool size of the M animated bone state pool. No, I can't, I can't, I can't do that here. I can't do maintenance here. Because other systems that are relying on it for data is are going to screw up as well. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's... I didn't think about that, did I? Okay, you know what? Fine. Have it, have it delayed. It'll be delayed by a little bit. That's great. That's fine. That's whatever.
Hmm. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, no, it's not going to be great at all. I need to clear all the data. Maybe I do actually change it back so that it's it is a function of the component pool rather than this. That would make sense. Clear component data component data, we just do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what I said earlier. I was being an idiot. It's it's happening here. Clean up. Um Let me grab let me grab it from uh the internet. Just give me a second. Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. What if I just say something along the lines of, oh. no, yeah, keep it there. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, uh, this is not great. No. Okay. Scrap this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, the earlier idea where uh, the armature system is not going to handle maintenance itself. It's going to be, it is going to be part of the regular system. Did I already take, I already, I took it out. So I need to go back to here. I need to like up here somewhere um dot maintenance function equals this so it'll follow whoop it'll follow that okay so it'll follow the regular tick it'll be slightly out of sync i guess or maybe i can add or remove i the changes will take effect the next one at least for insertions and removals which is not so great but what what you're going to do so processing of this 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 modified armature state okay yes our modified armature state so i got that i fixed that side that leaves going through the actual modified ids or armature state. And that this is going to be so this is going to be like um what? This is going to be like you change the animation, you change the time, or you change the armature ID. So I <clears throat> the only thing I really care about right now is the armature ID. And I want to make sure it still matches afterwards. So yeah. So I got that. The removals are down there. Oh, I need to do two things on the deinitialize. On the deinitialize, I need to do that. Uh oh, I lost stuff that I put in here. No. Here it is again. It's going to be right here. Dereference. Resources being waited on, so it goes back here. There we go. So that's back. What I need to do is, since this is the system that's at it, responsible for all that, on initialize, on deinitialize. Okay, what's going to have to happen then? Initialize, on deinitialize, I go through, I clear all the animated. Data components. I know I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit. Do you reference any resources being waited on? Clear component bone data. So that's going to be these guys, the new ones. So this T animated bone state. This is the removed. So this is the one I can just, yeah.
and animated animated data come on there paste 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 okay that Got that. I need to go find the armature state type. This. There, there, there. Bones, 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 bones. The end. And I need to do another thing where I need the faux entity ID because what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to also add it to be remove via the maintenance. P animated, animated bone state ID. I'm just probably going to get rid of the state suffix. It's not really adding anything or is it? Oh, it is because of that. Ooh, bone component. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. Bo ECS pool ID pointer equals M animated bone state pool. Whoop, that, that, that. Got that. Bo ID const star const the end animated. Bone state ID equals P animated bone state ID plus the size, which is this. So we're going through this. Yep, plus this, comma, great. So if that, and we had need to go for each this component pool, remove. M animated that with the entity of stuff. P animated bone state ID. Again, like if I add a one where I can add a whole bunch at once, that's going to be great. Animated bone state ID, that, 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 that. And then through the regular maintenance cycle, it will be removed and cleared. So like if I remove, if I deinitialize and reinitialize immediately, by the time I get back to the initialize, it'll be cleared and it will, yeah. <sighs> Move. You remove your maintenance. I can still probably do something where I can like, where I don't have, I don't directly run maintenance here, but I can have it much like how I did with the render graph, the render graph, I can probably telegraph like when certain functions should operate. But that'll be external to this system, regardless, instead of integrated. Okay, so I can, I can resolve that that way. This still old, what was I doing? I was, the modified, right, the modifieds. Ba, 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 up here, okay, if modified. Great. So what I need to do is I have the armature state ID and the data. And then I need to do the same thing. I need the IDs. Oh, the ID. These are, I am assuming, still in order.
e animated bone state id equals total ecs component pool id pointer of an animated bone state pool get the end and animated ID. no i need the start i need the start as well because i need to like figure out offset kind of business so it equals this the end animated bone state id equals p and uh start plus let's see what's component pool size of m animated bone state pool that's great and then can i get this but for the animated not the pool just p animated state data okay okay first off find it on the armature side so p armature armature state id equals standard lower bound of p armature state id p end armature state id i'm looking for p modified id if p armature state id equals p end and i can break out if p armature state id not equals p modified then i can continue is that usual continue little thing so like the id is less than no it has to be at least less than or equal to greater than or equal to greater or equal to so it'll be larger that means like this was listed as modified but in the meantime it's probably been removed or something else happened to it whatever the case it doesn't exist in the regular pool and was probably would probably instead would have been removed by this instead earlier so that's that i don't i don't actually have to care about this Otherwise, I need to do the same thing on the other side. P animated bone state ID. Ooh, it may not actually exist. So yeah, P animated bone state ID equals standard lower bound. Because it may have been like something that went through here and it failed to load or it's not yet loaded. So I need to deal with that. Uh, so P animated bone state ID. P and animated bone state ID. Got the modified ID. Then we have two cases. Either it does exist or it doesn't. So if it does exist, then I need to check it. If it doesn't exist, I basically need to call it, go into and do the new stuff down here. Which I can probably break out into a separate function, which I should probably also do for the render system. I'm sure I've got some, like, I must, in here somewhere. So if p animated bone state id is p the end animated bone state id or star p animated bone state id not equal star p modified id is no associated bone state animated bone state add it. oh no i know why i have that oh crap okay armature state has the cleanup function because if i insert it and it's a duplicate i need to be able to remove it the other way right crap 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 okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna like that's why i needed it that's 
I knew there had to be a real reason why I had it there, and I forgot it, and now I remember it. So armature state. CPP. Uh, let me grab it from the internet again, which is just this. Copy that. There, great. We do void cleanup of the new one. Pro animated own state. Pro animated own state. Const star p data. Free p data p bones. Great. Oh, that's another thing. I need to remove when I remove one when I remove, remove animated bone state, I need to do that and if he animated if he animated bone state Armature, not equal pro null handle, which it should always exist. Do that. Um, pro use decrement use count and rough count. Oh, key animated bone state. Armature, low resource, decrement ref count of the animated bone state, armature. The animated bone state, armature. Low null handle, that's great. So I can't do that in the other one, right? Or I don't want to do it because I'm not use. I really should be doing that here. But removal of the bone data that can still be done. Oh no no that would have to be handled by that. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Armature right, state. We do that here. This is where we do it. Assert the animated P data armature handle. Cool. P data one and two. Okay. That happens here. This needs to be passed in to the registration. In here. I did do this. No, I didn't. He remove when I create it. So mm -hmm. it's just delete. And I removed it from here. Ooh, not great. I should have render. No, render state doesn't have one either. Um, clean underscore. It's not even here. I am just completely and utterly not having a great time here. Releasing system, destroy selection, create. Loader component. Okay. 
animated phone state. In here should be the create call. Or am I? I'm in the wrong place. I'm down here. This is the create. Da 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 da. This happens here. Oh, Amersha State. That needs to be these. Uh, that's because it's missing. About that we've got the proper clearing stuff going on that's great clean up phone animated bone state that means i need this i need to highlight that and copy it okay animated bone state the cleanup function does that stuff now so it does both this and this decrement use and ref count and freeze the bone data I no longer have to do that in here again because I don't have to. Uh, so that's removed component. This, that was all that these guys were doing. So that's gone. This, this doesn't have to happen here anymore either. What ha does have to happen is it needs to be removed. So I don't need that. This is gone. Maintenance cycle. Normal maintenance cycle. Okay, that's all I have to do. Set animated bone data components. Maintenance cycle. Means we don't need that here. That's an explanation of what's already up there. Okay. Remove the components. Don't have to do that anymore. That's being dealt by the other thing. Move to animated bone state. That is nothing I have to do. Because it's being done by the cleanup function. That's great. Uh, I do have to remove via that though get back to modified right and nothing to do on the insert side no modified okay here we go there's no associated animated bone state check if we should add it which is basically going down to this call where i say hey the armature state equals This is, yeah, the armature state equals that plus D armature state ID minus P start armature state ID. Basically, just do this. Oh, and this needs a break. This is star pre modified ID. Great. The modified ID. Okay, that's that. Otherwise, let's see the else case here. Hey. Anything. 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 See what's been changed and if and what if anything needs to be done. Okay. I feel like if the armature state. Oh, and I need to. Okay, this will have. I need this. 
either way. I need this. That I need at regardless, no matter what cases. But what I do need here is faux animated bone state star dn state data equals e star animated bone state data plus e animated bone state id minus p start bone state id so we get the offset into that we grab that this is not supposed to be const but the pointer itself is so okay let me okay what's Cannot initialize variable of type entity const value of that. What? I'm just consting the pointer itself. I don't actually, I want the actual data to, oh, whoops, 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 wrong way. It's the, I, I'm mucking about in the IDs. I wanted to update the, the data which is this one go there we go okay that yeah if uh p armature state data armature id not equal to D animated bone state data armature ID for resource get ID think if the IDs don't match that means brand new armature has changed so what I want to do is like I could either just modify the one I have in place or remove and insert. The easiest way to do it right now would probably be to remove and then insert, right? I just, yeah, I just call this and then I just call the insert stuff, which is this. And then we do this. Otherwise, If it's not the same armature, I do this thing, which is a pain in the terrible. Otherwise, else, there hasn't changed. Just animation time. Just perform a regular. Um, I don't know. 
And then at this point, I'd have to do regular animation. And I haven't done that on the inserts either, because that would also happen on the inserts. On the insert, I would actually create I create the bones, and then I would do the animations. Then I would insert that data so that it's usable right away after the maintenance. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm oh, I got stuff going on in here. Not sure how badly I've messed things up. Undefined reference to those, right? How much say? Do that. Okay, let's see how bad this is. Where does... Oh, that was fast. Um, Segfault, cool. Why? Cool, cool. Okay. Here, ECS, on the data destructor of skip data. I skipped some data. And in here, I didn't actually have any data to be done. What? Okay, I broke my old stuff somehow. This was the maintenance of what? Armature state. Mm -hmm. I think it's armature state. This was not armature state. This was on render state. Whoops. Wrong thing. Render state. Animated state. It would have been up here. Put the cleanup on the wrong function. Wrong type. Wrong component pool. Hey, we're somewhere else. Okay. So this is null pointer. This is that plus size. I'm sorry, what am I on the wrong one? Animated, 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 animated. This is, yeah. Animated bone state. Animated bone state is null pointer. Start animated bone state is null pointer. And animated bone state is based off of the armature state ID instead. Okay, no egregious crashing errors. Let's check memory-wise, address-wise, what we got. Nothing yet, so it's nothing too bad. And okay, no memory leaks. Great, we're, we're still uh, holding on to great control of memory. No extra memory leaks than the this thing, which is again from I, X or something, uh, somewhere outside, who cares? Great. Okay, now I need to do, I want to create a function which is going to do this with the bones, bone count. 
animation size. I'm just basically going to do this part, I think. On the modify or just on all of them, basically. So I need a namespace type. The original armature matrices, okay, otherwise. So I need the armature. And the animation, armature, animation, the output section, right? Is that basically what's happening? Let me split this off to the left or to the right, really. So this is the reference implementation. So I need build, um, create Okay, we got that. So I start with, I got a full armature. And I'm going to have ID and time. Float time. And then I'm going to have the Bow, BLM, four, SRP bone data, I think. So, I'm going to assume the armature is there. I'm going to assume that I have the bones all sorted out. That's why I'm here. Bone count equals that. So, P. Not doing anything. So, if. If the armature, oh, I need to actually uh, create that. Get resource data of armature. No, no conversion from foe, oh, resource. The armature. I just have it, okay? I just assume I have it. So, if P armature animation size less than or equal or greater than or equal to the animation I'm trying to do, animation index. That's this part, this portion. I'm going to do that. T bone data. Else, actual animation. I then do basically this duration time animation time plus equals that and then process that okay animation index time t bones Really?
own data. Then we leave. Okay. So this, I want to make sure that this is actually going to work. So I have to give PR mature. Uh, the animation ID. The armature state time and the bone data. So I can add that at the end to make sure that's going to overwrite the stuff again. Then I can scrap this stuff up to that up to that point. Then I can put it on the uh, other side as well. Nope, that's not working at all. There's no animation whatsoever. Why? I'm interested in animations. If animations Oh, it's going into one F. It's the other way around, right? If this is greater than or equal to the size, then then we then we then the animation doesn't exist, then we have to do there we go. Okay. Right, 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 right. So armature bone count equals that. We'll scrap this stuff. Great. Okay, okay. So now we can use that down in the new processing section. So remove, don't care. Modified, I do care. If this load state and it's loaded so then what i need to do is i've got new data i process it by saying hey armature state data 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 bones no um new data dot p bones that just sets it up for the next one So that's that. Otherwise, it's unmodified. That case. Otherwise, oh, if it failed, okay, I also need to remove. Component since it failed. What am I doing? It's a one liner. Let me just do the one liner. Po resource. Uh, sorry, Po ECS. Component pool. Remove. M animated bone state pool of star B modified. This does this. Return result set that does result equals that result value not equal to success. Then I need to come up with a better case for how to do this. So I need to add a standard abort for now. So I can actually it'll highlight it. I need to do something about this very seriously. Can't run animation. Uh, 
it's a bit loaded. Now, this is kind of harsh. I understand the idea, like, what's the point of having, um, like, you switch from one mesh to another mesh, and then, like, from maybe, like, a frame or two while it's loading, there's a chance that, like, the animation stuff will be removed, so it'll, like, T-pose or whatever while it's, chain while it's loading the new thing. This is why, like, while it's not obvious now, like, the idea is, of course, later on, we're going to have systems that say, hey, if I'm going to change, I'm going to request a load. I'm going to, like, have some kind of smarter system that'll start preloading resources before you need them, rather than, like, as soon as or after you need them. But that's not the, that's not within the scope of this. Right? This is just going to deal with the data it has. It's not going to try to predict. I don't, like, there'll be, like, separate systems that deal specifically with predicting what I'm going to need soon based on where locations are where you know how close things are blah 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 a whole bunch of factors that i'm not going to discuss right now however okay so removed removed great otherwise i need to do this where if it's there's associated bone state component we see removed so we just remove it then we add, add animate it Here, new data dot bones. I don't have to deal with this because it's removed. Don't have to deal with this because it's removed. I just animate what's there. Otherwise, the animation hasn't changed. Just at the animation time. Just perform regular animation. Okay. So we just do this where we say, hey, did I not do the animate ar armature data? No, because it'll be P animated bone state data armature. State data. And then I need to grab P animated bone state data. P bones. Oh, right. I need to grab the armature itself, which I haven't done. Yeah, it's that. Here, I'll just do it outside of it. Do that there instead. Otherwise, on insertion, this is where we have to do animation again. On a load. We animate it before we pass it off. E bones. Okay. Check that nothing's going to explode at the seams. It's not going to blow apart. It's going to keep doing everything. That's great. Okay. Let's check for uh, address issues, memory issues, memory leaks. Seemingly not. Okay. Now. I need to go down to the render system and modify this to use the new stuff. Huzzah. Oh, and, oh, right. Um, right. I would need to do this. Down here. Not on the inserts. I don't have to do that. I only need to do it on the modifieds. I wouldn't have to do this because this would be on a remove and insert. Well, but in the future, it will be a modified. So I'll actually, I will add it right here. Modified IDs. Yay. Or would I? Hmm.
Animate armature, insert, no. Yeah, it's... Hmm. I'll just do this. Just do that. It's, uh, add the modified IDs. Kind of do the same thing as this. So that should be basically the exact same thing right now. I mean, that's the thing that's being uh, controlled. So yeah, yeah, that should be correct. <sighs> okay. Okay. Change up to not armature state pool, but the animation. So I need to do that here. New type, new... Oh, animation, animate, and animated. Oh, animated bone state pool. So this. Okay, now we're down here. Why is this still here? Don't know. Okay, it's just here to that. Let's see if I can actually get some of those things fit into a fix-up uh, commit. So, no and no. Okay, yes. Let's stage this, stage that. This, yes, stage this. Stage this. Stage this. Stage these two. These were a fix, so stage that. Stage that and that. Uh, render state. Or uh, fix up st render state. That goes back there. Is there anything else I had to do with that? I don't think so. This is all. That's new. That's new. This is all the new stuff. Registration. That's new. Animation. That's new. This is still in process. And this is just, yeah, not to be committed. Okay. Animation system. So I got that associated. Now I need to do... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stage what I have right now. And start working, working here. So the armature stuff... should be given render armature state it won't be given an armature state it'll be given a faux animated own state okay and going on to the implementation side
here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, make, on to the next one. Okay, now we're here, where I need to change this. So, armature state. Animated bone state. Uh, it needs to be that. Yes. Oh, no, it starts here. Yes. Yes. Just bam. Do it all. So, yeah, there's some modifications I don't have to do down there. These should all be correct. It's just on the inserted side. Animated bone state insertions. Da, 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 da. So this should basically always run because I have the mesh and I have the animated thing. So this should just always work A-OK. -okay. But it might not. So, but it should. Get how much state data. This, I don't actually do anything in here because all on the fly, right? Right, I was going to do some kind of quick cache, but I don't have that because that, that's still in here. So P animated that. Uh, we don't actually need to find it anymore. It's always going to be, and it will be loaded. And to to reach this state, it has to be loaded. So we just that and just go. Hey, you know, P animated bone state data are mature. bones is it that easy the answer is no right uh yeah the answer is no unfortunate so where did we run aground here armature cpu buffer i'm going through this i say hey armature does exist Interesting. Uh, very interesting. I, there's, there's garbage data in there. In the armature, okay, let me just close everything to the right so I can shrink that back down. Armature system, here we are. So, armature equals, so this is, for any other locations, there's that, there's that, and then there is that. So why did any, first off, none of these should actually be going in anywhere. Unless it's already loaded like this one, okay. So that copies in. One, two, three. Uh, 
five, six, seven. And that's just going to go for 250 something other items. That's great. And then it's going to go into here and then fail because the data isn't actually happening or registration must have screwed up somehow. When I register this or create it, initialize create armature system mm, render state animated bones. Okay. Oh, our animated bone state pool that. Animated bone state pool. Okay, okay, okay. When I create it, I say this is the size of that. Okay. Okay, let me clear all of the non. So let me change that to 256 and remove all those extra entities so i only have the basic four so i can actually read that does it work on four is it like is uh, do i have a problem with the component pool expanding or something like that no I'm surprised that this is loaded already. Oh, it would have already been loaded from earlier, perhaps. Yeah, it is loaded. Run this. So new data has five bones. I thought it was four, whatever. Five bones. I'm passing the animation ID of zero with the time of whatever it is and the armature. And then I successfully animate it. Then I insert the data with that modified ID. Is it because of the old, perhaps? The old processing would be bringing it in. Uh, this. So if that's the case, none of these should ever load until after, right? No. Trying right away. Or wait, hold on. Interesting. I didn't insert anything and it's still trying to do. I messed up something in here. When I'm doing the animation. No, this is the armature system, render system. Oh, right. Uh, the M and M. M uh, when I go up here, I changed one half of these things, but not the other half, right? The armature state. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. I place that there and there. Okay, skip that. Here, 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 going on and just all of the cases here. That's still the same. That's still the same. No, I'm not using it. Okay. Okay, so that's the uh, thing that's being cycled on and off every mo every few moments. 
So that's running really fast. Oh, because I don't have anything in the back. I, I got rid of the other 256. But it doesn't crash anymore. It's working as expected. So, and I did actually already remove the old process for the armature system. Oh, yes. But that, that means only the thing that's being added or removed gets, gets the animation. Or perhaps nothing gets the animation. Let me fix that. Uh, go back to this. Do create, recreate 256 items. Run. Is there anything animating? I created 256 items, right? I'm in debug mode, right? I'm in debug mode. I have the address sanitizer on. Okay, that's great. Oh, right. Nothing's animating uh, because I didn't actually add any of those guys. But nothing at all? Like, do I ever do go into the Emma waiting? I must, right? Somewhere. All right. Make sure that's uh, I'm I'm going into here somewhere. Yes, of course. Once, and then that's kind of it. Yeah, it's not so great. This waiting list, I only have like the one. The one entity with the one armature. That's not right. Oh, no, that is right. Because when I initialize, I'm not actually doing any processing. So I'm not actually compiling an initial set of data. So all the initial 256-ish items just, like, they, they get lost. So, okay, let me focus on this one. Why is this one not refiring? Because it should. Every so often, this... Something in here fires where it adds or removes an armature state, right? Which means, yep, yep, that happens, okay. And it's never refiring. Very odd. Oh, because it's loaded? After the initial fire? Is that why? I guess it doesn't appear to be animating, but it also could just not be having any time to animate. Uh, let me try like, every one thousand. No, that's not happening. Okay, it's on render mesh B, right? Uh, render mesh B2 has this, and that's it. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Okay, then it's loaded. Now the thousand frames happen, then it's inserted. And then it's... Okay, then it's that, but it's not animating. Okay, so like it's it's getting the initial state, but it's not animating after that point. That isn't so great. Um, <laughs> oh, or also, actually, perhaps this is the uh, thing right here. Like if. may need to actually be updating based on time right now so let's get rid of the constantness of this and the constantness of that no of this That should mean that down here, what I can do is I do this. E armature state data time plus equals elapsed. Time. What's it called? Time passed. Okay, let's kind of shrink this down to. 400, something like that. So it'll be a bit more of a cycle. Go to the armature system. Do I have any? I don't have any breakpoints. So let's see what happens. Mm. The animation state is being added and removed, but it's still not actually animating. Like, is it, is it just not coming into here? Very interesting. It's just always going into here instead, then. No. No, of course not. Uh, this is only on modified IDs. I'm not actually setting modified IDs for basically anything. I would need to have some kind of internal thing for like things with currently active animations that would be internal to this, I suppose. Because armature state data will modify if you change the armature or if you change the animation. Or because eventually what I'm going to do is that like the animations aren't going to be like, what's the current time in the animation cycle? It's going to be like, when did the animation start and when will it end? And if it loops or some other information like that. And then I'll have to have like some internal thing that says, okay, search through if this is supposed to be animated right now or mm, something. I don't know. There's so many like moving, there's moving, moving parts, way more moving parts. So what I need to do then is I need to say, hey, you know, if else can I just like modify entity list? Do I have an entity list for armature state? Moving position 3D. Does... Okay. Armature entity list.
So I just need, I just need, I just need it. I just need it to start firing. So from there, I can uh, evaluate and adjust. So if I need to do this, I need to operate that, modify that. So it's getting on the armature entity list. It goes on the armature state pool. This armature state pool is always being modified. Else that, then I need to do the updated entity list. Else if that so it's that and to do this okay great so it's always the modify is always firing because i don't actually have the analog for nothing's happening oh whoa, whoa there it is three to pumping but it's there okay yes i am so close Okay. Uh right. Okay, modifications. What I I mean, you know, I actually have kind of oh, what's this doing here? Let me get rid of that real quick. There you are. Stage that. Oh boy. Um, unstage that range and uh, unstage everything else. So we're in a good stable spot as it is. That's great. We we'll just do that. MF fix up. Okay. On armature system, I'm going to change it up. So get let's let's back it up. Don't need this. Don't need that. Do not need this. In armature system, rather than doing that, it should just be so. Like, this only fires if it's uh, been a modified uh, armature for now, and then I can update it to change for looking at animated different animation changes. I'm not sure how that would operate because that would be a subset of the armature, anyways. But if I keep it like this, where I remove the old data and it reinsert a new one, that means I can run this independently or in a different thread from a general processing call where I just go through literally all of the modified IDs. So if I move the standard vector, move this to the bottom, All current uh, animated bone states. Just go through all of them that exist right now and just reanimate all of them. Some may be removed. Yeah, okay. But some and those that have been inserted have already been animated. And since I'm not actually modifying any animated bone states in the other sets, this can be run fully in parallel. That'd be excellent. Even if it duplicates a little bit of work, I'd rather do that and just get better parallelization. Because there's more threat, like there's what, eight? What's what's the worst you can do? Six thread, six core, 12 thread nowadays, really? Or just a plain old eight core, like on the max? Or 10, whatever, four performance, four little core? Call it six. Yeah, no, no, no. Being able to use more IDs, that sounds like a much better thing. So back that up. I don't need the modified IDs, don't have to be from this. 
And down here, we just got to process all the things. So, oh, entity. No, I just need to process. It's the animated data, right? I think so. All just the, just all the regular stuff. Just speed run this stuff. S yeah. So that nope. That great. Bone state const star const the end animated. Bone state data plus. So ECS size of M animated bone state pool for that E animated bone state data not equal P N that plus P animated bone state data And right now, I wouldn't actually need the modified ID thing. Because I'm going, I'm assuming right now, I'm modifying all of these every time. So this, this just, this just goes out the window as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So I just need to do animate armature, which is this. Oh no, I'd still need, right now I still need the armature state data to figure out the animations and timing. Okay, so not quite entirely that close, but not quite. Entity state ID, start, okay, it starts are here. There may be some that were removed, and I will just skip those. Uh, no, I don't need that. I need the end of this. I'm just say pool. Do that. That to that. So P armature state ID equals lower bound of P armature state ID. P end armature state. Star P animated state data. No, this should be the ID. Ooh, yeah, okay, I do need the ID. Dang! Okay, P animated start. I don't need that. I just need the end, which is this, that, const, that, start, data. No, because this is going to run in parallel at the same time. I just need data pointer. It's confusing. Okay. ID to the end ID. This plus the ID plus P animated data. So that's still in line there. This becomes that. So that's the ID of the armature I'm looking for. If P armature state ID equals P end break we're done here and i'll i'm working on the assumption that 
those other ones that we can't hit have already been removed by the other calls up above, the other areas up above, but just haven't been actually removed. They're, they're, they're slated for removal, but haven't been done so because of the maintenance cycle. Hasn't been fired yet. Otherwise, if P... Then continue. Otherwise, we get down to this point. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not a const. That's just that. Equals for uh, armature star resource get data of t animated blah 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 armature p armature state data Plus P armature state ID minus P start armature state data animated bone is that I need to do a start and end for this one. Start armature equals just that. That gets me the index into that. That gets me all that data. This is const. And then this is what? P animated bone state data. P bones pointer. That animates that. Okay. That animates every time. And then I need to do... On the render system, modified animated bone state, which does not happen anymore. Right now, it's always everything or insert removals. So, I made a bone state ID to the end. This equals that scrap these guys p animated not equal to the end animated equals that render data iterator equals p animated bone id that It's a much faster loop like that. Okay. If it exists, run with it. Uh, did I already do the inserted? I'm just state insert. I mean, that will be right now, because right now I'm still going through this, aren't I? Hmm. This one really shouldn't exist. At all. It's being fully supplanted by that thing down here. Okay. Or not. What's going on? Why are you not happening? Why? 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 
It's happening every frame. So that's being animated. That's happening. That's moving forward. But Render System's not catching that data. Why not? How much CPU buffer? Animated bone state ID. Great, great, great. Start to end. Render data iterator. Do, 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 do. Okay. Like, it appears that I'm do hold on. Did I skip? Oh, um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll make this const because this can't be const because I need to increment the freaking time. There we go. 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 Nice. Okay. So I got that. I no longer have to deal with... So I can get rid of... I can go back, modify armature to no longer require that entity list. That's not required based on the current implementation. Armature I do need. Animated I do need. I need to do waiting loading, but I don't quite have that yet. Let's get rid of the old process. That's gone. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, that's gone. That's gone. Gonna put that there so that I have something to work with in the future. That's great. Okay. <sighs> right. Okay, I need to reduce this back down to like what, whatever it was before. Get revert, selected range, the back down to thirty. That's great. That's still really running fast, but it is it is um, animating, so that's good. So now I can actually put this timer back on. And clean up render system from the armature pool. That's gone. Armature pool is gone. Armature pool is already gone from here because I screwed that up. So that's that's cool. It's gone. Uh, that means registration is going to be broken somewhere. Render system down here. No longer need to know that. Great. Okay, that's uh, turning on and off with the animation. That's great. Okay. 
Now, I need to deal with the awaiting items uh, in the armature system. I, I set a whole bunch of things to be... And I need to initialize and deinitialize. Oh, do I need to deinitialize? Uh, no, I just go through everything and say to remove it all. Initialize, but I need to compile the initial set of data when I initialize. Data set. Animated bone data. Bone states. And then I need to do the awaiting thing down here. So. Do I do anything with the removed? No, just regular. Just regular. So I just need to do... Do I do anything on insert? <gasps> Oh, I would have... No, I wouldn't have to do anything on inserted because the inserted are already in the regular set as well. I don't have to do that. Nice and easy. So I just basically need just this. Mm. File initial set of data. That's great. Uh, animate armature is... Not even in here. Where is it? There you are. That's there. Great. Okay, this becomes initial set of data. We don't do this. We're not doing offsets. We're just doing, we're just iterating through all the items. Start, so that, that. The ID, const star, const, p end. State ID equals armature state ID plus fo ECS size armature state pool. So that 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 increments that way, and so does the data. Pointer isn't that? That's not that. Like that. Entity equals star of this. That is, yeah. Star, the armature, state ID. The data is somewhere, right? Yeah, there. I do use it. That's the initial set of data. So that means now I should just do, I just need to do the awaiting. And then I need to refine it by, you know, um, the duplicate sets of remove and insert code or add remove code have to be uh, abstracted out to separate functions somewhere. Okay, there's that. Can we just double check that I'm not like no memory issues right now? No. Okay. I don't have to do anything here. Process. Process awaiting. Oh, Items. Uh, I moved the data, right? I think I do this in here somewhere. Yeah, data sets. I sort through it, which isn't too great. Awaiting data. I'm awaiting loading. I need to pull in algorithm for that. How big is this entire thing? 500 lines. Hmm. Not as bad as I was hearing, actually. Uh, 
Okay, I need to grab yeah the armature stuff. Do I need to start? I would. These items are waiting, which means they are not part of the uh, of the thing. So I do basically need to go through. Like this. And then I still need to have the other thing because at the end I need to unload any resource. Clear armature. Okay, it won't be that. It'll be full resource. Decrement ref count. Awaking iterator. Sure. And. No, I wouldn't. No, because this is local. This is localized. Decrement use count. Oh, oh. And then here I need to do the loading stuff. So. P, armature, state ID, equals standard, lower bound, here we go. If P, armature, state ID is equal to the end, that means we've nothing left to process, so we break out. And then the, this will fire off and clear out, out any resources that we just can't use, and we'll never use because there's no associated armature state IDs at this point. Otherwise, if P star P armature state ID not equal awaiting iterator entity, that means it used to be, it was requested at some point, but it's no longer required. So now we just basically do this and we continue. So that'll increment when it comes back through, so that's fine. Uh, then, so, if here, and there is an associated armature state, which means I need to get the armature state, the start armature state data, plus the armature state ID, minus P start armature state ID, Then at this point, it would basically be, let's see, how much of this do I need? This up to, I already have the armature, so I just need to check the load state and do that stuff again. So armature equals Armature state data, sorry, no, P, no, awaiting iterator armature. Otherwise, we just do this again. We just re-add it to the same list. I could just add uh, the awaiting iterator as is to the back again. Break, continue on. That's breaking out of the switch, so that's fine. That would, at the end, that'll... Okay, so I believe right now, if I F5 this, it's going to all be animating as correctly within, within a few starting frames. Yes! Great. I love it. So is there anything else I can think of? Because otherwise, I guess that's basically it. I don't need our mature state pool. That's all gone. 
has been updated to do this. This doesn't do anything yet. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, I'll actually just like. So add that and add that, and I'll add that to wherever the error is that crops up here in a second. I do not require yeah, which is phone state data. You know what? No, I'll keep it for now. I'm going I am going to use it for some for the caching the animate like mesh to armature animation caching thing. Which I'll explain some other time. Uh so I don't need this, but I do need this. This oh armature state. Oh, 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 I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of the old armature state stuff. That is no longer required. The these are gone. That is gone. This is moved down to the down to here. E F G. Yep, that's correct. Still, well, should I guess there's still some things looking for. I'll reset that. No, no, no. No, that because these were supposed to be faux. Animation bone state. Animated. That. And kind of same thing around here. This is now an old pointer. There's no external data we have to worry about on this type. Yeah, armature state, yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, that's no longer a part of that. Do a little bit of that. No memory leaks. Fantastic. Okay. So that's the new split up thing. Armature system. This is just a whole lot of stuff. Uh, it's basically just over doubled in size. It's a much better, to my mind, it's a much better split of responsibility or how it's, it's a much it's better. Registration. Yep. Okay. Uh, render system. It's basically just been a full conversion with this section being removed. And this being updated to just all for all of them. That's been removed. Ran to that. Okay. Minor modification there. And a new update, a new type depth. Okay. So I think uh that's pretty okay. Uh, I guess I'll I'll commit that and uh, work around with the, uh, I believe, a bunch of fix up commits I have to do. So I'll do that. And I have no idea what I'll do ne until next time. So until next time, cheers.